Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Let's talk about it. This movie did not disappoint at all. In fact, it brought back that old MCU feeling we used to have constantly. The movie had a great balance of comedy and drama. And that's something the MCU has really been messing up a lot. If you see my review of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, my main critique was the dialogue that was super weak. It, it got to the point where I was cringing at scenes where I wasn't supposed to, jokes were inserted were in, when they weren't supposed to, despite there being a cool story within it. And that resulted in the movie being super okay. Just very okay. <laughs> a little mid. Uh, but Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 does not do that. The comedy in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is never forced. It never feels too silly, too goofy, too out of place. It's just perfect. James Gunn knows how to nail that comedic timing. And he blends it well with a very heartfelt story that is centered around Rocket. Like there's this very serious and emotional and heartfelt tale of Rocket and how Rocket came to be, you know, how he was experimented by one of the most vicious villains we've ever re received in the MCU, the High Evolutionary. The High Evolutionary, who is the main antagonist in this movie, is probably one of the most diabolical villains I've ever seen. If it wasn't for Thanos existing, uh, he probably could have been the greatest MCU villain of all time. Like, he is definitely minimum, minimum a top five villain of all time. Because you get this vicious villain that you just, he's built up so well through Rocket's flashbacks. Like, when the Guardians finally meet him, you know, he, this is no easy task. And that's why I think he's also the best villain the Guardians of the Galaxy have faced, not including Thanos, of course. But this is the best villain the, the Guardians of the Galaxy have had. The highlight of this movie were the rocket flashbacks. Because anytime one rocket flashback came in when I was watching the movie, I was just hooked to my seat. Not to say that I wasn't before, it just, like, I was so intrigued. I did not know what was gonna happen. There was tension, there was happiness, there was all these emotions that if I keep describing, I might spoil what happens. If I could say there, if I could only give you one reason to watch this movie, it would be to watch Rocket's backstory because that story is one of the best stories ever told in the MCU. But besides getting this amazing story from Rocket, we get all around great performances from each of the Guardians of the Galaxy. I personally really enjoyed Star-Lord's performance here. I feel like the story arc of Star-Lord really comes to a great point where he used to be the goofy leader who had no idea what he was doing. And now he is a determined leader who is still very goofy, but goofy in a way that you can't change who he is. Like the character growth he, he had from the first two Guardians of the Galaxy and all his appearances with the Avengers, you can tell that his growth has been there, especially given the mission he set on in this movie. And which I won't spoil it, which I won't spoil because it caught me by surprise how the movie started, which is another great thing because I thought the movie was going to go one way, just the way it started, and then boom, something happens, and then I'm like, oh, so the movie is not actually about this, it's actually about that, which I really enjoyed. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that information was in the trailer and I just missed it, but I really enjoyed how the movie, for me, it kind of just took me by surprise, and I'm like, oh, we're going on this journey, which I really enjoyed, and it just showcase Star-Lord again. I think Star-Lord, if it wasn't for Rocket, Star-Lord and the High Evolutionary would be like the highlights of this film. But everyone all around did great. Additionally, this movie has another great soundtrack from James Gunn. He's just an expert DJ, you know, at this point. If James Gunn is with you in the cure car, give him the aux because he's going to give you great uh, song recommendations for sure. In this movie, there's actually one of the best action sequences that I've seen from a Marvel movie on a technical sense. Obviously we have had epic action sequences, you know, like the Captain America elevator scene or the Infinity War Wakanda charge or the end game charge or even like the original Avengers movie where everyone's like that 360 shot, which is iconic. 
But in this film, we get one of the best technical shots. It reminded me a lot of kind of like, it's shot in a way that's similar to John Wick, if that makes sense. It's like, it's like James Gunn saw John Wick and was like, hey, I want to grab a lot of aspects from here and add my style and add the comic book style of the MCU and mesh it all together. And I think it ended up with an excellent product. It's truly, ma you, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about as soon as you see that scene. You'll be like, oh, this is a scene, you know. Excluding the Avengers movies, Guardians of the Galaxy is the best trilogy the MCU has. Highly recommend anyone who is a Guardians of the Galaxy fan, an MCU fan, or simply just a person trying to look for a good time to watch this movie. I'll say this, this is the darkest one of, at least one of the darkest movies the MCU has put out. Because this movie is not for kids. It's not. Uh, it deals with heavy themes here. Uh, a lot of heavy themes. Like, uh, uh, this movie will make you want to hug your dog or your cat or any pets if you have any. It will make you want to hug them and hold them at night and protect them from the vicious villain, the high evolutionary. Because, yeah, this movie is super dark. It, it, it's, it gets dark. Uh, bring tissues. Bring tissues for sure. Because there, there are some scenes here where whew, I was like, whew, like it hit me. Like I, I saw that there's a couple of scenes in particular where I was like, oh my God. But overall, this movie is an excellent and perfect ending to the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy. If you have seen Guardians of the Galaxy, let me know down in the comments below. And if you haven't, go watch it. I This is a Marco guarantee that you will enjoy it. I'm Marco Castaneda. Till next time.